This is Roger with Wheel Connects in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2005 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. It uh, has 130,000 miles. Uh, we'll look at the odometer in a second. I'm a little... I know it's right in that area, but I'm not exactly sure the exact numbers. Uh, it's been about two minutes since I looked, so my Alzheimer's kicking in. Um, anyway, it was a uh, trade-in uh, to a new car dealer in Texas. We purchased it directly from them. They can't get financing for their uh, uh, any anything used on their used car dealerships uh, with over 100,000 miles. So uh, we try to buy all the good ones. This is a really nice vehicle, and it's very rare. It's got a manual transmission, uh, and it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. Uh, very rare combination. Anyway, it needed front brake pads. When we get them in, we do like a two-hour uh, inspection, wheels off, measurements, uh, the whole nine yards. And we tell you what's wrong. We tell you what we fixed and what we didn't fix. And on this thing, it's got a nice set of tires uh, that came on the vehicle. Probably, I don't know, 70 or 80% tread. Good looking truck. I'm told that the driver rear door has some paintwork on it, which I will show you up close. There will also be uh, a couple of chips here. There will also be uh, somewhere between 50 and 70 HD pictures, and there's a little magnifying glass. You can click on that and get really close and uh, see still photos up close so you'll know exactly what you're buying. Um, it is my job really to accentuate the negatives and not the positives. I'm told as most uh, diesel trucks uh, are, is the case that it does not have a catalytic converter. Obviously people take them off. Um, if you need one on, if you're an Arizona resident and you buy it, you have to have one. Uh, if you're from out of state and you want us to put one on before it leaves, uh, uh, before you come here to drive it home, or before uh, it ships out, we can do that. Uh, they cost us about $400 uh, to buy and install, and we will do that at our cost uh, for you. Um, so just add that to the price if you need it done. Most people don't need it done, but if you do, please let us know. These are the, uh, it's got air suspension. I don't know if you notice that or not, but it's got air suspension, so there's, there's the fill-up valves. It's got a brand new spare. There's a gooseneck in the bed. Thing right here There's a little thing right here also Let me look at this pain on the door yeah it's pretty good work though but uh, you can tell there's just a little bit of sanding marks right in there. But boy, it's, it's pretty good. It's not, it's not factory by any means, but it's a hell of a lot better than Mako. Whoever did it did a pretty good job. Now I'm going to open up the hood. I'm going to show you what it looks like under the hood. We're going to be looking for the four stamps on both sides of the, uh, on, both, on both fenders and on both sides of the core support. There's one right there. New battery for we installed on this side. There's a Ford stamp there. Let's see. There's a Ford stamp there. There's a Ford stamp there. Obviously, it's got a aftermarket intake. Man, boy, is that hot! Turn the key on here. Alright, what do we got? We have 137,389 miles. Alright, let's see. Let's walk around this side real quick. There's your window. Door locks. Seat forward. Seat back. Seat all the way up. Seat 
down, seat back up, and down, seat front up, and down. A little hole right here in the seat. That seems to be the only thing going on here. There's another shift knob. He's got a custom shift knob there. And there's your factory shift knob. So you got, uh, this is a six speed manual. So apparently he wanted to custom fit the previous owner. Boy, this is a super clean, except for that hole in the seat. Couple dings here and there in this door, which honestly, just a little bit of sandy marks right in here. I mean, I, if you're buying the car for cosmetics, you're crazy. I mean, people don't buy 05s with 130,000 miles because they're pretty, but this thing actually is a pretty good looking truck. Mirrors out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, down, okay, door locks, there you go, Let's driver's seat back, forward, up, down, I'm gonna tilt it up, tilt it down, tilt the rear seat up, and down. That works fine. Under there, that's a wheel that works fine. Seat feels good. A little bit of worn underneath the, the foam from about here to here, but it's not, you can see where I'm pushing on, it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna have somebody come out and drive. Obviously, I can't do a video. drive a manual at the same time, so in these cases I need help. So I'm going to have Jason come out here and show me uh, if he's learned how to drive a manual yet. That'd be a six-speed manual. Well, let's see, I might need that to tell him what gear to go in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might, huh? There's your cluster all running here. It's been running for a little while, uh, which we do. I'm gonna turn some air on here, it's a little warm. We're still dealing with the... Uh, radio does not work. Radio does not work. There you go. Just learned that right here. Why is that? Is that plug? Yeah, I powered up the other day, no volume. No, we don't have power up. No, power so you up. should assume that it's melted. So you're gonna have to spend 120 bucks at Best Buy. Four high. Four high. Does it have parking sensors? Yeah. I'm gonna try them out. Parking sensors do work. I'm gonna go with that. There you go. All right. Four, four low. Bonk. Parking sensors. All that stuff like that. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive at home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Uh, dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3% and you come to Tucson to drive at home, you're going to pay a total of 5% tax. That's your 3 plus R2 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and deal with your motor vehicle fees and your taxes in your state if you have to. Uh, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll uh, notarize the title, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file. Uh, we even scan in the mail uh, mailing envelope that we send the title in. Um, every 
everything that we have uh, on the vehicle will be in the ad. Um, from what we know mechanically to uh, what uh, we fixed to what we didn't fix. Like I said, uh, add $400 if you want a cat. And most people don't, but if you're going to be an Arizona buyer, you're, you have to. So that's mandatory. Um, obviously, 10 minutes after you put it on, you're probably going to take it off. <laughs> so save it and put it on every year or whatever when you register the car. And let's see, what else? How's, this, how's the clutch feel? To that because uh, this is probably our last week here where we're always in the hundreds. And, uh, summer's always like this at the end, not very nice. All right, if you uh, ship, uh, like I said, all you all you pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Please make sure you get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Uh, lastly, I say this about everything in our inventory. Go to the last minute or two of every video I do and you'll hear the same speech, not singling out this truck. Um, it's out of warranty. Ford, like Porsche or Lamborghini or anyone else who's built, ever built a car, gives a warranty of a certain number of years and a certain number of miles. This one's passed both of them. And if they could have given it a 200,000 mile, 27 year warranty, they would have and then they would have sold the truck for $82,000. Or hundred two thousand um, dollars they couldn't because they don't know what's going to happen after a certain amount of miles or years so it expires we don't know more than the people who built the truck so there's risk inherent in buying this a used vehicle if you don't like risk do not buy from us we are in the reality business the reality is we don't know what's going to happen to this truck in a week or a year or ten years um, right now it's a hell of a truck Next week, it may need an injector. We don't know. We are not uh, fortune tellers, and that's what it would take. So, if you need perfection, you got to buy a new one and a new manual, which I don't even know that they make. Do they? Ford. I haven't seen a manual 6.0 in forever. Uh, anyway, uh, if you were to find one, I would imagine you would probably be paying well into the 40s, maybe even 50. I don't know somewhere high 40s probably um, that's what you should do that would get you your stress-free driving and get you three years of warranty and bottled water and maybe a loaner car if you want to uh, accept a little risk uh, this is a great truck and a good risk in my opinion uh, but know that you may be spending some of the money you saved on repairs sooner or later could be next week could be five years from now could be a windshield wiper motor could be a motor motor who knows? All right? Anyway, that's about it. That's it for the speech. This is a nice truck. I'm going to shut up for a couple seconds here and let you listen and watch. All right, that's it. Thank you.